as the world around us goes mad and threatens to go into another lockdown. I think Paris is going into a third lockdown from, what, Monday? It's crazy, isn't it? The EU's in complete turmoil. And, um, but in the, the UK, we're chugging along nicely. Everything's going tickety-boo. Got a third to half the country vaccinated and it's still going on. So keep going, guys, keep going. It's good, but as we have announced that May the 17th, theatres can reopen with social distancing and then June the 21st, all social distancing gets dropped unless anything weird happens, which hopefully it won't. Um, we thought we'd have a bit of fun today, just get your creative juices flowing a little bit and give you a scenario. And this is the scenario, okay. You've been made M um, artistic director of your society. You've got to put a program in place to really draw the crowds in. All crowd pleasers. No experimental weird stuff, no new stuff, no anything. All real, I don't know what you want to call them, pot boilers or whatever. Um, something that will really excite everybody. So um, there we go. And so number one, you've got to pick a farce, okay? And I've gone for noises off, of course. Can't forget those sardines, can we? And these might be stuck things that you've already appeared in. It doesn't matter. So you can ignore restrictions, ignore rights availability. Um, just do whatever you want to do, okay? Number two, you've got to pick a thriller or whodunit. I've gone for Veronica's Room by Ira Levin. Very good, very good. It's one I've been in as well. A musical for number three, so why not go for Calendar Girls the Musical? That's what I've done. Um, that's now released. And um, a drama for number four. I've gone for Frost Nixon. I was lucky enough to play David Frost in the amateur premiere. And so Frost Nixon again. And then back to a comedy for number five. And I've gone, of course, for A Bunch of Amateurs by Ian Hislop and Nick Newman. Um, that will be restricted in reality, I think, but we'll ignore restrictions for now. What would you like to program in to bring the crowds in? A musical for number six. I've gone for Our House, The Madness Musical, one of my favourite shows. Um, a Shakespeare for number seven. I've gone for A Midsummer Night's Dream. I've appeared as Lysander in this in the past and I've seen it, who hasn't seen it, umpteen times. I've also appeared as Puck years ago, actually. But I'd like to really um, concentrate on that and get it right, those lovers. Um, get the dynamic of the lovers right. Um, so number eight, a comedy. I've gone for Don't Dress for Dinner by Mark Camaletti. Um, a musical for number nine, please. Buddy, the Buddy Holly story I've gone for. I, it's one of my favourite shows as well. I mean, if you can... We, we, we did a big article on that, and it is available for amateurs. Although it will be celebrating... It, well, it should have celebrated its 40th anniversary since it opened in the West End, I think, last year. But all that was off, so it might have been... I think it's putting it back to this year, so it might be restricted. But whatever. Buddy the Buddy Holly story is fantastic. And if you can get the actors together... Um, who can play instruments, then um, it's going to be fantastic. A classic for number 10, I've gone for Art by Yasmina Reza, translated by Christopher Hampton. Absolutely fantastic. I I played the part of Ivan, um, which is, who's got the, um, the page and a half, 15 minutes, two and a half pages maybe, 15 minute solo speech. Um, and it, it's, it's not a long play, but it's absolutely fantastic. A really good play. And a pantomime you've got to think of for number 11. And I've gone for the classic pantomime Cinderella. So let's see what you think. Um, we'll put the links below for you to do that. Um, it'll probably be a Facebook link or something like that. I don't know. But um, it'll be something simple that you can just, just click through to and um, go from there. But let's see what you think. We'd love to know what you think. And... Um, you know, we're all trying to get our theatres open again and we all need crowds, we all need audiences. So we really need to think about something that's going to bring them in, you know, not make them think, oh, sure we or shan't we go to that one this month. I've never heard of that before. It's, it's all got to be stuff that they know. It's all got to be um, attractive stuff for them. 
And um, there we go. Have a great weekend, won't you? Have a great, great weekend. The sun's shining. I'm looking at it right now. The sun's shining and everything's going to be tickety-boo and the vaccine in the UK is going really, really well despite whatever any other country or any politics is going on. So there we go. Stay safe. Stay well. We'll be back pretty soon. Let's see those ideas coming in. And I'll read a few out next time, next week. See you later. Bye for now.